Hello there, bringing back the celebrity makeup bag videos with the most requested subject and one of my long-term style stars, Alexa Chung. This Brit it girl has ruled the front row for years and despite being very low maintenance in real life, she's become a bit of a beauty icon. That signature eyeliner, a smoky eye or bold lip, but maybe that's why she always stood out to me, for her natural, understated makeup choices. Combine that with a wardrobe that frequently features all of my favourites, denim, stripes, shirts, shift dresses, ballet flats and boots, and you have an instant icon. If you love her look as much as I do, let's learn more by running through some of her makeup and skincare products she's previously mentioned in interviews. As always, all source articles are linked down below. We have quite a lot of products in common, but I've also suggested some dupes too. Surprise, surprise, the celebrity favourite Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser is here. Alexa uses the illuminating formula, which I haven't tried, but I like the regular version for its super sheer, lightweight glow. For that English rose blush, Alexa cites the Stila convertible colour in Petunia to make her look more awake. Sadly don't have that one, but Lilium is a pretty dusty pink, and Gerbera is a brighter pop of peach. Alexa uses the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. I haven't tried it, so I'm interested to hear from anyone who has, but here are some other options in that Rose Gold range the YSL Glow Shot in Sunrise, and the RMS Beauty Champagne Rosé Luminizer. Both create a really natural highlight. You can see the RMS has a bit more of a dewy finish, but both look very nice and subtle on the skin. Ico was a brand Alexa got me onto many years ago. Their brow gel was one of my favourites for years before Glossier Boy Brow took over. It's a light gel texture with the slightest sheer brown tint and a bigger brush compared to Glossier's pint-sized, creamy, pigmented option. Alexa then partnered with Ico for two collections back in 2013 and 2014. These little guys were some of my first cream shadow sticks. She created the Me and My Shadow Sticks as an easy way to replicate her smoky eye. Taupe is a smoky shadow with a slight shimmer. Chocolate is a richer, deeper option, nice as an eyeliner, and charcoal is a much darker look for nighttime. You can see the first two in action on Alexa herself in a great Lisa Eldridge tutorial. Ico later released three more shades, topaz, quartz and bronze, which are actually my favourites. One of the signature pieces from the Alexa and Ico collaboration was the I Do Liner, a thick felt tip pen designed to recreate her classic cat eye quick smart. It's actually my holy grail eyeliner for that reason. It's so much easier for me to create the straight sort of flick that I prefer. The Ico Skinny Liner is another Alexa goes for. Mine's quite old, so it's starting to dry out, but you can see that it's a longer felt tip. She says she really loves it and prefers pens to gels or brushes. To finish the eye look, she created the I Do Mascara for Ico, a lengthening mascara with a big chunky brush. She says, I love a 60s doe-eyed look and this gives me longer, thicker, blacker lashes without the hassle of falsies. Moving on to lips. Alexa follows the same method that I do. Choose between accentuating your eyes or your lips. I don't go all out on both because it can sometimes be too much. Alexa says lips are the easiest way to go for her and she was single-handedly responsible for selling out Topshop's famous lipstick shade Rio Rio about five years ago. She cited a discontinued Chanel Rouge Allure shade incandescent as one of her favourite reds, but for me Chanel Pirate is in that classic blue-toned red flattering on all skin tones category. She says if I'm doing eyes then I'll do a lighter lip and she mentioned the YSL Rouge Volupt in Rose Infinite 7. I have quite an old shade number 2 which is in the same salmony pink ballpark. Alexa also mentioned Charlotte Tilbury for darker reds which I've taken to mean red carpet red. Bit of a classic from her Matte Revolution formula which is one of my favourites, super creamy, not at all drying. Shanghai Nights, one jump darker and Opium Noir, a deep red with more berry tones. I read that Alexa used to regularly sleep in her makeup and never took good care of her skin when she was young, so I don't know how she always looks so good on red carpets. These days we have a few favourite products in common, but very different skin types. Mine is normal to dry, but Alexa's is really dry. A New York facialist apparently once told her that she had the driest skin she'd ever seen. Alexa says Aesop Geranium Leaf is her favourite body wash, and mine too. I love the fresh green scent and the fact that it doesn't ever dry your skin out. She loves, quote, everything Glossier, me too, but the one thing she keeps coming back to is the Milky Jelly Cleanser, a cooling jelly that gently removes makeup when you massage it around your face and leaves you feeling clean but super soft afterwards. She also likes their Soothing Face Mist, which is a refreshing rose-scented spray to bring you back to life. Lucas's Pore Pore Ointment is heavenly, according to Alexa, and you'll certainly find it in a lot of Aussie handbags. I don't use it as a lip balm though because of how much petroleum it contains, which is a great barrier ingredient for the lips on cold or windy days and a useful ointment for cuts or sores, but petroleum is not a hydrating ingredient in itself, so you end up feeling like you need to reapply it all the time. Alexa sometimes says she puts this all over her face on planes. Can't say I've tried that, so let me know if you have. 
For her dehydrated skin, Alexa likes Waleda skin food and smothers it all over her face. This is such a thick ointment, it's not something I use as a moisturiser, but I just like mixing it in with other products like hand cream or lip balms to add extra oomph. Add in a mulberry bag that was named after her, some kitty flats or block heels and you'll be an Alexa Chung clone in the making like me. I even went to some Ballet Beautiful classes in New York a couple of years ago because she always talks about them. Didn't see her, but did end up in a class with a couple of other celebrities, one of whom is coming up in a makeup bag video very soon. Hope you enjoyed this, aiming to upload a new one on the last Sunday of each month for the next few months. See you next time.